Well, I hear Kayla in the background. I know that voice. It can't be. Are we living? Anybody? Please. No, 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 no! <laughs> You can't be serious. This can't actually be happening, right? I hate to say it, guys, but this is for real. Zachary Kays is back. It took longer than I would have expected, but just as many people predicted in 2018, the illustrious Predator Toon Critic Y2K is back. For those who don't remember, Zach Kays was a major member of the Brony community and helped me get my start in the fandom and on YouTube. He also cheated on, abused, sexually harassed, manipulated, and even allegedly raped 12 different victims, including a confirmed attempt to traffic a 14-year-old girl from the Philippines to the U.S. for sexual purposes. Several people who were abused by Toon came forward in 2018 many of whom were victims of harassment or manipulation, but some were allegedly victims of full-on crimes like rape and grooming. Vita Pony was the first to release this information, followed by people like FNGR and Horse News, but it was quickly confirmed by a taped confession. Where's, where's, what's going on here? Like, did, can anyone tell me what's going on? Um, okay. Yes. So, uh, but, yeah, British, do you want me to begin? Okay, so Toon, we're going to preface all of this with you're in trouble. And this is going to be, you know, a group talk so that we can discuss what we think you need to do and give you a chance to defend yourself. Um, essentially, we know everything that you've been doing with Pastel over the last year since November of 2016. Um, okay. We know that we have a lot of solid evidence and concrete proof that you are, or at least what you have done, is pedophilia. You have asked for photos of her in nothing but a leather jacket and panties. You have sent her pictures of your crotch in, only covered in boxes. You've sent her porn. You've, you've done a lot of bad things, Zach. And um, a lot of people are hurt by it. Most definitely. Um, whether or not you feel that she gave consent, it, you should have never have asked in the first place. Do you understand that? Yeah. Okay. Tune. Oh. I, 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 I'll pick it from here. Sure. Tune. At this point, this is not something, this is not information we can just sit on. This is very very serious stuff and this is like police getting involved kind of things and that I, I and just to further magnify how serious this is uh, uh, a couple of uh, a, a lot of people are very very upset and honestly, we cannot we cannot keep this under wraps, and we are very pretty much forced to have to tell the police about this. The Toon case shook the entire fandom to its core. Many of Toon's former friends and I were locked in a stagnant war for some time during that year, both driven to unhealthy behaviors we all deeply regret. Many of us disagreed on how to handle the situation, and it fragmented the community. Zach's friends were devastated, his victims were reeling, and his fans were in flames. Many attempts to have him jailed for his crimes were attempted, with well over 50 people submitting all known evidence to the Chicago PD. Zach is now going by the name Zephyr the Indie Doggo, and one of his former victims, Massacre Molly, seems to be associating with him again, starring in a lot of the live streams on his new Twitch channel. 
This is a warning. Do not fall for his charismatic persona. Do not fall for his lies of change and growth. Zack has abused, mistreated, and weaseled on each and every one of his friends. He has apologized and claimed to change several times, only to hurt more and more people later on. A man like Toon never changes. His established pattern of behavior is incredibly clear-set, and he's never wavered from it. For your safety, avoid him at all costs. Block, report, do whatever you need to do for your own safety. And make sure that people know what he's done. Information is power. See you guys next time.